Hey everyone, today we're diving into a comparison between two of the most popular tools for trading in Path of Exile, Awakened PoE Trade and PoE Overlay. Whether you're flipping items all day or just want a quick price check while mapping, knowing which tool fits your playstyle can save you a ton of time. I already have both these applications installed, so let's kick it off with Awakened PoE Trade. It's a lightweight hotkey driven tool that keeps things simple and fast. So you just hover over an item and push control D by default. You can modify this in the settings and it will do a search of the item. If you don't hold down control when you move your mouse, that will go away. But if you hold down your control key, it'll let you move your mouse over and you can do things like adjust the stats. Like right now it looks like, oh yeah, I could probably sell this. It's estimating is worth 95 chaos. There's one that is meeting these search terms that is 70, a few that are 100, 130, and then it goes up to a divine. Um, but this by default goes a little bit lower than um, your current stats to make things a little bit more accurate. Um, so what you can do is if you know like, oh, the only one people really care about is this one, I'm gonna go right up, you know, to one less than mine because one people may not care about. Okay, it looks like that bumps it all the way up to 100. That 71 is gone. So uh, I probably could sell this for 100 chaos according to this tool. Um, there is also some hidden ones. Most of the time, this will only hide things that people don't care about or that can't change. In the in the example of this unique, these things can't change. So there's no reason to search for them. But in the situation where it hides something that you actually want to search on, you can click on this to view those hidden features. You can then also click on trade here, and this will open a window right to the trade site for that search. So you can see the specific items that were up there for that, um, that, that resulted in that search. That's not all this tool can do. If you hit shift space, you can open up its settings, which has uh, a few different features to it. So by default, there's a map rolling, which what this is, this is just a search string feature. If you click on these search strings, it will search this map so if you want to find all the things that have all the maps that have reflect on it so you can you know scour them um or move them or do whatever you can absolutely do that this is editable and you can add new things maybe there's something you want to search for here that you don't uh you don't want to run so you want it to highlight it um you can absolutely add more things here you can even set hot, key, hot keys so that pushing a certain key does it so you don't even have to open the UI. Um, and then when you're not using it, you can hide it here so it doesn't show up here. There's also, I have a, what I call a cheat sheet here that is just an image that shows up. Um, that is, this one's my betrayal heat cheat sheet from Necropolis. Um, you can change which file is there. Um, and you add a new, brand new one by adding an image strip here. Stash search is what I just showed you previously with the um, keywords. Stopwatch will do just that. It'll create a stopwatch that you can throw on your screen. It stays on there even when the overlay is not on there. Uh, and you can pause, reset, and delete it. In the settings, this is where you would change all your hotkeys. It does have another feature for chat commands. The only one I really use is the hideout. Uh, the nice thing about this is if you don't know, you can type slash hideout from any town or hub, and that will bring you right to your hideout. This allows you to turn that command into a single key press. So pushing F5 types slash hideout and pushes enter for you. <clears throat> turns it into a one one command and you can add hotkeys to all these other ones these ones came by default and you can even add your own commands if you want um, and you can change things like the text size and stuff through here and you definitely do want to go into the price checking uh, section and make sure the right league is selected can also get there by clicking on the league in the um, price check window. 
that's about all there is to awaken poe trade it's pretty lightweight it does just a couple of things but it does those things pretty well awakened poe trade is open source which is nice so if you want to you can go and look at the code and verify it isn't doing anything malicious it gets frequent updates and has a passionate community the install process might trigger a warning but if you're comfortable with that you're getting a nimble tool that just works now let's switch gears and talk about PeeWee Overlay. The main version does use Overwolf, but there is a standalone version if you prefer to avoid Overwolf. Overwolf itself is a bit controversial, and even the standalone version does have ads, but they aren't overly intrusive. The overlay isn't as lightweight as Awaken PeeWee Trade, but it also brings a bit more functionality to the table. And there's also a PeeWee 2 version that works very similarly if you're playing both games. So let's take a look. Okay, so first thing, let's take a look at the search feature. By default, it's Alt-D instead of Control-D of the other one. And this is a very similar window. Anything that's highlighted is something that it actively is using in the search. So it is looking for specifically this name, requires this level. I can turn that off if I want. This is something that isn't in the other one by default, it's required level. So I like that. Um, and then I can change the specific values here. Um, I can go to looking at 90% of the value or exactly that value um, automatically by doing different things here. And then, uh, and then you can hit search and it will pull open um, a list. Now, doing 90% did change the sockets down from a five link to a four link, which isn't super accurate, but it's relatively easy to change that. So I can see that a uh, five socket five link, which isn't that big of a deal that is missing an empty socket, is 90 chaos. So there is one out there. This is going to pathofexile.com slash trade. And if you click on this, um, it will open just like the other one. And you will get to view it on the trade site. You do want to make sure you're looking in the same league. And when you click on this, it'll open a settings window, which opened on a different screen for me. This is a whole separate window, not an overlay, so it can be on a different screen if you want, which can be nice for a couple of reasons, which we'll get into. Um, but the first thing is make sure you're on the right league here. <clears throat> and then there's a bunch of settings that you can go through and change um, for a bunch of different things. You can link it to your account, so you can see um, things about your character here, um, keeping track of how you're leveling stuff. You can actually link it to your build using Path of Building um, to have an idea um, of what you need to, what you're going to, and have your skill tree up here. It's something that is similar to just having Path of Building open, but it does have some added features in the search, which we'll get into. Um, there is a live search setup. Um, and you can view your inventory value here. It also has a few extra things like uh, a trade history. Right now, I haven't used this for trade yet um, after reinstalling it, so it doesn't have a history for me. But if I did make a trade, it would show up in this history, and I could tell you know, my, my trade history here. If you hit uh, Alt-M... It will open up this overlay for market, um, which you can then search. And in this search, it is very similar to what we were doing here uh, with the price check, except for you've got all the settings that you have on the trade site, and it's kind of more in the same window. This uh, appears to pull right from the trade site, and you can send the, send the message by clicking this button here right within this same overlay it also has the exchange for currency um, and then you can set up live searches through here if you've never used live searches that is something that's available through the standard trade site and it is something that you can set up um, if i were to pull open the trade site uh let's let's do this pull open the trade site um 
if I wanted to search for one that had these same settings, um, maybe I want to look for one that Chaos Orb equivalent is only 75. Let's, let's see if somebody ever posts one. There's none here. Click Activate Live Search. And now it is searching in the background. Anytime somebody posts one that meets those filters, it'll make a noise and I'll know to come look and, and uh, try to buy this item. If you've ever been spammed by a bunch of people wanting to buy something that you just listed, um, it's people using this live, see, live search feature um, or bots. There's also this part up here, which if I were to try to buy something, let's say I wanna buy another tabula. I have uh, a bit of money, 19 chaos. Let's buy a tabula. So I will, oh, wrong search. I'll do this search. Uh, I like this one. Let's open it on the browser. <clears throat> and I'm gonna send the whisper through the browser. And you can see that has pulled up here. Um, and then there's a but a few buttons that you can uh, do to increase your trade experience. You can resend the whisper. Uh, you can do a who is to, and that'll help you to know where somebody is. There's currently in a desert hideout. So the fact that they're not responding isn't because they're in a map or anything. They're probably AFK. Um, you can start a new mes message to them relatively easily. Uh, you can invite them to the group. You can go to their hideout. Um, I believe you have to be in the player's party to access their hideout. You can start a trade. You can say you're done. And you can ignore the person. Or you can just click this X being like, ah, oh, this person's not going to respond to me. Click the X. This also works the other way. Um, I can't force somebody to try to trade with me. But if they sent me a message, it would also show up here and have similar buttons uh, catered towards um, buying an item. There are a couple other things that you can do. Um, one uh, that I've done is I've gone into Path of Building and created a new version so I don't accidentally override the other one because when you click this update button, it will pull in your existing character and all your existing gear to make things a little bit more accurate in these searches. So if I were to change this to my actual main skill and save this um then when i'm looking at items i can see let's say i want to look at this one you can push alt q and it will pull open the item and it'll tell you information based on if you were to equip this so I would lose average damage. Uh, if I were to put it in to my shield, I would still lose average damage. Um, I would lose, you know, a bunch of these. It's bad. <laughs> this is basically what it's telling me. So you can compare items uh, more easily by using this tool. And it's better if you pull in the actual character that you're using um in your build there's also a couple other quick features if you do alt shift q it will pull up in this window which you can put your cursor over it and release and it will activate that chat command um so that was do not disturb this is how you would do the hideout um for this uh, mod overlay um there's also alt shift f which um does stash searches so for example this one is built in is for the chaos recipe so you look at that and that's put the right information in there these all match the right requirements and if you vendor a full set you'll get a chaos back so that's the chaos recipe search you can modify that uh however you'd like um there's also like a map um one that's built in and if you want to hit a plus on here it'll open up the settings right to the right place uh, to modify this if you'd like so you can change the different commands add commands do whatever you want um, it also has behind shift space is this uh, overlay notes 
So you can release on that, and this tells the information about incursion or betrayal or the axe or uh, this is Calgar shipping and stuff. Um, and you can add your own as well, same way. And the last thing I want to mention is the ads. You can see in the settings, there's banner ads on the sides. It's not super invasive. It doesn't stop you from doing anything, um, but they are there. Also, when you're in game, if you go AFK long enough, it will put uh, an AFK banner up that will have a little ad on it and information about your character, like your current stash value, your XP per hour, and stuff like that. So it gives you a little bit of something and then throws an ad up next to it. When that does come up, you can just move and it will immediately close and go away. So it doesn't stop you from uh, getting back into the game. It doesn't do anything um, overly invasive, in my opinion. Um, but it is there, and so if you don't want ads, um, there you go. From what I've seen, people who want a full feature experience with minimal clicks go with the overlay. People who just want speed and low overhead stick with Awaken PoE Trade. So what do I re recommend? If you're playing on Windows and want a polished all-in-one experience and you don't mind Overwolf or ads, PoE Overlay is awesome. But if you want something lightweight, fast, and transparent, Awaken PoE Trade is the way to go. But let me know which one you're using down in the comments. And if you want setup guides for either of these, I'd be happy to make those too. And always, you can catch me live on Twitch. Link in the description. Have a good one.